Welcome, this is Camsec Security Limited's Hike Vision 4.0 tutorial. Here we'll show you how to live view and playback and download your CCTV from the firmware 4.0. Right click anywhere on the screen, you'll be challenged with your pattern password login if it's been set up. Once you've logged in, you'll be able to see on the left all the cameras connected by their names. Across the top is a bunch of icons. The only two you really need to worry about are the first two. That being, if you hover your mouse over, you'll see what the next one is. So the one highlighted in blue is Live View. Next one is Playback. So let's go through Live View to begin with. So if we want to look at a single picture, all we have to do is literally double click on the image and it will go full screen. Now we have a look at my AMPR camera. From here, as you're moving around, you'll see a second menu pop up at the bottom. First one is capture. So if you click that with your left mouse button, it will take a physical picture and save it. Second one is instant playback. So if you click that, it will start playing back the last five minutes of footage. And you can scroll very quickly within the last five minutes. Somebody walking past, that's good timing. And exit that. And back to this screen. If the camera has audio, you click audio on and you should hear audio. If you're connected to a monitor that doesn't have speakers, you won't hear it. But if it's connected to a television, then you will hear the audio. Now, on all cameras, you have the option for digital zoom, which is this magnifying glass with a plus button. So click on that. Point the mouse where you want to zoom in and scroll the mouse wheel forwards, it will zoom in. You can then click, hold and drag around the screen. To come out of live zoom mode or live digital zoom mode, right click and it will exit. So double click on your screen to return to all your cameras. That's your live view. Now on the screen you will see various icons. Um, overlaying each image. Now these aren't recorded on the images. They are here in live view mode only. So what you will see is a red record icon or a motion bell icon. <coughs> it's that simple. Okay, so let's go into playback. Hit your playback button. It will ask you which camera you want to look at. So let's look at my overview camera left here and it will instantly start playing back from today's date at midnight. On here, on the right, you'll have a drag bar which will take the timeline, which is the big line down the bottom here, from one day, 20 hours, 8 hours, 4 hours, 1 hour, all the way down to 5 minutes. So your timeline is now 5 minutes, which makes very, very precise playback capability. You can drag it along pretty much to within a second. fairly simple. Okay, so let's say you wanted to start recording. Click the scissor icon, which says clip. Now the way I like to do it is to clip by time. So if you've watched the footage and you know it's gone from, let's for argument's sake, say 003 and 2 seconds up to 05, so we just want a 2 minute clip. So let's do clip time. So we'll take it from midnight, 0 hours on today's date. 3 minutes past hover your mouse over and you can scroll that wheel forward so three minutes past to five minutes past and once we're happy with those times we click export now on your recorder you've got two usb ports normally or maybe three depending on the model but normally you've got a mouse plugged into one and you'll find the other one on the front so you get your usb stick and plug that into the recorder once you've done that it will appear up here where you can create a new folder give it a name etc you then choose either mp4 video download or avi now avi uh, will export it so it can be played in any format <clears throat> but for an evidential police download stick to the default here which will then download all the metadata and any VCA content you have, so line crossings, intrusion detections, or audio content will be downloaded by the default format. 
if the police need a specific file player then they can get it themselves or tell them to contact me and I'll provide it to them and then simply click export mine will say failed so I'm going to say OK to that and it will say failed because I haven't actually got anything plugged in but yours will then start exporting and it will then say complete so I'm going to come out of that So this for now and that's basically the clipping exporting and live view functions that you have now in playback mode you've also got the digital zoom it doesn't affect the playback footage but you have the digital zoom icon that we had before so we can zoom in and have a look and right click it takes you back out again if you've got audio it turns the audio on if you want to capture the image just a snapshot hit your capture and it's captured that to your hard drive Okay, a couple more things. On the left here, you will notice normal, smart, and custom. I'm going to show you what smart searching does. If you hit on smart search, you will see red sections appear. Those are the motion of the recorded clip. So it's just a fast way of searching between where the footage has actually noted motion. If we just let that play for a second, what, I, what you should see is a jump to the next motion activation. So just bear, watch it and bear with me for a second. There we go, it jumps to the next section. And it's another vehicle. So that's a smart playback. And he was driving quite fast. Okay, so just pause that for a second. Now, actually, what we'll do is I'll show you. So I've actually plugged it in the USB stick now. So if we clip that, um, we get this option here. Oh, that's new. We get human vehicle. Depending on your cameras as well, you'll also have human vehicle target detection as well. But that depends on your cameras. So export clip rather than using the time clip. So if we export that, it gives you, it asks you whether you want to do video and log and or player. Don't worry about player, we just want the video and log. We hit that. It will then show us what's on the memory stick. We're going to leave it as default and click OK. It's now going to export that. We had a tick in the middle of the screen. So top right here, it's still downloading. It's 100% complete. So if you want to see what you've downloaded, You've got a file icon to the left here called external file. That then searches your memory stick for the clips we just downloaded. And there they are. So let's have a look at that one. So double click on it and start playing. So it should. Is it playing? Oh yes, it's playing back. There we go. So you can then watch the file that you've literally just downloaded. Drag it across. And whatever it was, was that light source on the screen there. Okay, so that's downloaded that clip. Go back to the main screen. Those are a few extra bits there. Okay. And that's pretty much it. If you are one of my customers and you have any further questions on this, give me a call. Many thanks. Take care.